Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for another PB&J card class. And today's video is actually the third in a three-part video series featuring just very basic one-layer cards with gold embossing and painting with distress reinkers used as watercolors. These cards were all inspired by Michelin Mimi Jordan's cards that I saw on her Facebook page, and I'll be sure to put a link to her Facebook page down in the YouTube description box below. And for today's card, I'll be using Penny Black's gorgeous cling stamp called Tulip Bouquet. And real quick here is a look at all of the supplies used in creating this card. And I will put this back up on screen at the very end of the video. So if you want to look at that in more detail, you can just hit pause at that time and check it out. To begin, I'm stamping this onto Canson 140 pound watercolor paper using a stamp positioning tool just so I can get a couple of impressions and get a really nice good impression onto the texture of that watercolor paper. I stamped with Versamark ink and then I will sprinkle this with gold embossing powder and then use heat to set that. Just wipe off any excess there. And then I am ready to paint. I will be painting this using Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors. And just to the right off camera there on a ink palette, I have just put a few of the colors that I'll be working with and I'll be mixing them with water and then applying them to the petals and the leaves and the background as I go. I typically like to put down a pretty watered down bit of that color onto the petal and then drop in the other colors that I am blending with as I go to add a darker variation. The gold embossing is really helpful because it creates sort of a bit of a ridge wherever it's embossed and makes it easier to stay in the lines. And so that the, the wetness of the inks and the water don't blend into other portions of the stamped image. So you can work petals that are right next to each other or adjacent as you go. I will have all of the exact colors I'm using listed in that supply list at the very end of the video, but I just wanted to mention I absolutely love this combination um, to get sort of a bluish purple here, I used Chip Sapphire and then mixed in a little bit of Dusty Concord Distress Reinker, and I just was really happy with the result of that color. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn on a little bit of music here, and I will be back in a little bit once I have finished painting this in.
once I had finished painting that in, all I had left to do is add my sentiment. And I am at stamping a sentiment from this really fun transparent set from Penny Black Card called Artful. And I just felt like the sentiment was a really nice combination with the sort of messy and splattered watercolor background that I did. I'm stamping this in the Misty Stamp Positioning Tool so I can just get a couple of impressions so that it's really nice clear impression onto the texture of that watercolor paper. I'm using Acorn Arch Archival Ink which I felt was a nice match and didn't compete too much with that gold embossing. So here's another look at that finished card. I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video please, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram as well as our our website and blog and those will all be linked for you down in that YouTube description box below. Thanks for watching!